Hello all of Year 5, 5GI, 5M and 5GR. Um, today I'm going to be dissecting a flower. So hopefully you have completed Lesson 2, looked at the PowerPoint slides and also completed either Task 2 or Task 3 um, so that you've got a good knowledge already um, of the different parts of a flower. So I did have a go um, yesterday actually and just to see what it would look like so i've already decided to move on to a3 paper just to give me more space um but if you look closely you will see so i've separated all the different parts of the flower and um, the male, male and female parts i've got the petals and i've also got the stalk obviously and the leaf there too so i'll i'll go through what i did yesterday with you um i have got some equipment so i have got um a pen and a ruler because we're going to be labelling and any straight line needs a ruler. So I've got those two pieces of equipment. Um, I have got some tweezers so that I can pick things a bit more um, gently, but they're not an essential, especially with the flower that I'm using, which is a lily because they're, they're quite big. But if you're using a smaller flower, it might just help you um, with finer work with that. Um, I've also got a knife. Now, if you are going to use a knife, you must have an adult with you. It's not necessary to use a knife, but you can sort of split open part of it and try and have a closer look. Um, I haven't got a magnifying glass, but I did try it on my phone yesterday because you can have an app, um, but it's very annoying because it only gives you a few seconds, but you might want to ask mom and dad if you can have a look on their phones and just add that. and just gives you a bit of a closer detail because um, looking very closely at it, it's, it's hard. I know some of you have got some magnifying glasses because you've had some homework, or some photos sh showing me using them. So um, if you have then all the better because it'll give you a closer look into the part of a flower. Um, now the lily I've got, it was a birthday present to a friend and then I asked her could I have the lilies for my science investigation. Um, so they're actually, they're now sort of past the best I guess you would say because obviously as soon as they're cut um, they do um, start to die. Um, but they've got the whole, we've got the whole flower here and first of all, I'm just going to very gently um, start removing some of the petals um, and there's part of the male part's come off already with it because it is, as I say, it's quite an old one. So I'm just going to take off some of those petals um, and you can probably possibly see but within the petals even there is some pollen, lots of pollen on lilies. Um, quite often people when they get them as gifts cut off them a little bit because they can stain furniture so these these are just coming away so I don't need to use tweezers or anything so I'm just going to put these here I'll talk about them in a moment okay okay so luckily I do have some double-sided um, tape but actually if you fold over normal cell tape that would work as well but the idea being um, if you want to keep it in place again if you're doing it at home and you're just in an investigation there's no need to do that um, but you might want to take a photograph of it or I think on the sheet that I gave you it might suggest putting some uh, plastic over the top um, I'll take a photograph of mine but I'm not planning um, to keep it there. but this I find this quite useful but as I say you can just fold normal tape and that would work too so I'm just going to tear a bit off this is just for my petals I'm just you see the A3 paper is giving me a lot more a lot more space which is handy I'm in my yogurt pot don't need that anymore just got some water in it so stick it down here and just peel that away okay so these are beautiful petals and again, if you have got a magnifying glass, looking really closely at each part of the flowers, like a new world um, awaiting you. So that, that's what I would do if you get that opportunity. Okay, so I've got my petals. Just move that knife just now. And I'm just going to actually, I'm going to just write the top part of the flower. I will hold this up so you can see at the end as well, part of a flower. Okay, underline with my ruler, my 
class and the like. I worry about it all the time, I'm sure your teachers do too. And then, so I'm going to label, so I'm just going to draw a line here and say this is the petals. Okay. Now, you probably remember, I think it's, it is on the slides, um, so the whole of the male part is called stamen, okay, so all of it together is called stamen, um, and that's made up of the filament at the top and the anther, and the filament's the part that has got all the pollen, I mean there's lots, you can, you can see that quite clear, there's lots of pollen, it's, it's already it's on, on, my, on my fingers, um, so I will be washing my hands obviously afterwards. So again, so this is all of the male part and so I'm just going to put some tape down so I can hold this in place. So stamen's the male part and filament, I think of filament, something to do with matches, I think it almost looks like a match, doesn't it, when you hold it up. Um, so filament. I might put two, I could put them long ways, I'm going to be two pieces of tape down for this just to hold it because it's quite long, isn't it? The other thing you could do um, is exploring your garden because you probably have different types of flowers as well and um, just, just do as much investigating as you can. Don't be taking flowers out though before you ask permission because obviously um, that might make some people quite upset but do, but do, do have an, as much of an exploration as you can do. It is quite fascinating. Okay, so this is my, so I'm going to label, I think I'll write big letters. In fact, what I might do, because I've got two pens, um, so I'm going to write stamen, and that's the male part, so I'm going to write the male parts. Remember, it has male and female parts, so it can reproduce. That's a flowering plant. Um, another thing you can do is find out how other plants reproduce because it's not just through the flowering and seeds so you could do a little investigation into what other plants do to reproduce um so stamen has so i've got the male part um so remember i'm going to label so the long thin part is called the filament bit at the top is called the anther. Um, another really good thing to do is actually to use your um, artistic skills as well and, and draw some of these parts after. Um, I did find when I was pro producing this homework some beautiful um, different illustrations of um, plants but obviously all the parts separated as well. Um, that was really nice to, nice to look at um, and I know there's lots of artistic children out there and even if you're not completely artistic it does, doesn't matter it's just about recording and um, what you can see so that's a lovely thing to do as well so now so we've got our petals and we've got the stamen which is the male part so we're moving on now this, the female part is probably the, the trickiest to see inside and again if you've got a magnifying glass you might be able to see um, a bit more so the whole of the female part which so I'm just going to separate it now um, from the rest of the plant which as we know is the actual stem which holds the plant in place i'm just going to take that off okay so that's all of the female part and i'll get my tape as well okay so that's the carpal and then we'll talk about i might do this long ways because it can work because it's just one one piece that i'm doing so i'm going to put it down i will hold up and show you at the end this is my favourite part of science. Anything you can do hands-on, you're more likely to remember. Um, and then it also makes you ask different questions. Um, and that sets you on a trail yourself to find out the answers, which is always, always a good thing. Okay, so we've got the female part, so I'm just going to stick, stick it there. And then I'm going to label that. I'll do, use the black pen again, just for the whole um, female part. So it's called the carpal, so carpal, so that's the name of the whole part together, so it's the female part, okay, 
Look at that. So that's that. Okay. And the female part, so the bit at the top is called the stigma. And if you touch it, oh yes, it's it's sticking actually a bit wet. Um a quite an interesting shape too on, on this one. Um I'll just hold it a bit closer so you can see. But very, very sticky. And there's good reason for that too. So that's a sticky stigma. Oh, and she's pink. So next week we'll be finding out about how more of this works because we're looking at the life cycle of a flowering plant. So um, how all of this operates will become clearer as well. So we're having the background knowledge of what the parts are and a little bit about the function. But then next week we'll find out um, it has a natural life cycle and we'll find out in a bit more detail about the different parts. Okay, so the stigma. Stigma. So it's stigma and style, so the two S's on the female part, style. And that's the bit that holds, holds it place in the middle. So yesterday, so remember, you'll probably be thinking there's another part. So we've got the style, and then at the bottom um, is where the eggs of the plant are. So it's called, so you've got the ovary. And inside you've got ovules, or sometimes they are called eggs. Now, it is tricky to see in this part. Um, I'm going to use my knife just now, just to open it a bit. I did yesterday, um, and I used my camera, as a, or actually the magnifying part on my camera on my phone to have a closer look. Um, but I feel possibly a normal um, magnifying glass would have been better. So remember... If, if it is quite tricky, you can get an adult to help you with this. Nice. Um, got to be so careful with them. So I'm just going to split it up a little bit so I can see inside. Okay, so I can see a little bit inside. Um, can't say that I can see the actual ovule, um, but I'm sure, sure it's there. So the next part of the plant, which I am going to... I haven't got a leaf on this one today, um, but it's, it's just the actual stem of the plant which we know holds the plant up. Let's have a look. And I've definitely got nice orange fingers, mine. Is that the bit that needs doing? Well done. Oh, it's here. So maybe it would be really good if you could post to your teachers anything that you found out whilst um, you investigate flowers yourself and as I say if you do a variety um, you probably find different things about them about maybe the shape of the, the actual petals how many um, groups come together um, normally with a, a lily you might have two or three flowers together um, but other flowers are different so it's quite interesting to just look at all different sorts to see what's happening Okay, so this is my stem. Right to the side. There we go. Just watch the rest of my plants. I've got the stem. Okay, so it's, it's a good one. Um, other things you could do is you could, if you've got your tweezers, you could maybe try and just see if you can take off the top. And again, you could have a closer look. Um, it's disappeared in there. Okay. So that's the anther. And it's covered. I might just pick it up with my fingers. I'm, I've got orange fingers already. Anther, I will pick it up with my fingers. Anther, and it, it is it's completely covered um, with pollen. And again, we'll look into why that's important next week as well. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it up to show you. I'll turn it round and hold it up as best I can. And maybe you could share, take a photo when you've done it and share that on Seesaw, that'd be brilliant. Okay, so you've got your parts of your flower. Oh, escaping petal. So you've got, I've got my petals. Um, you can see we've got the male part here. 
and that's the stamen. Okay, the filament and anther. There goes another petal. Oh, I think we're going to lose another one. Never mind, I'll stick it down again after. Then I've got my female parts there as well, and you can see um, they're called carpod, but the sticky stigma at the top. And also you have got you've got your ovaries at the bottom, and you have got your style, which is a bit holding it up. Right, I'll just do a repair job on this quickly because I do want to take a photograph as well. And I might include that next week in my lesson, just show you. You've seen it now anyway. Um, and lots of lots of pollen to wash off. Okay, so that's that's this week's um, part of a flower. And do have fun investigating. It's the best part of science when you actually get hands-on and have a go yourself. Um, tell me what you find out. That would be wonderful. Okay, so take care, stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.